Thelonious Jones, UDI Group. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of a property. We're about to have a Section 8 inspection in about a half an hour. So I'm going to just do a quick walkthrough and show you the property. This is a three-bedroom, one-bath, but we market it only as a two-bedroom, one-bath with a bonus room. So we'll walk in the back door here. Here's the kitchen. Got gas appliances. Also, we have these nice Ikea racks because this, as you can see, let me back up to show you a perspective of the kitchen. Very, very small. So we just tried to maximize our space with the shelving and a uh, nice sink. Got the nice mini fridge in here. If you open this up, we have a tankless hot water heater. We had a one unit washer and dryer here. It broke, um, but the tenant that's moving in said she would like just to have a washer. So we'll have that installed. Uh, before she moves in just walk through the unit we had the floors redone as you can see they're nice and nice and glossy and shiny I like the floor to look wet that's the look I always look for so that's the new floor it's just buffed in a stain that is the damage from the roof um, let me walk outside and show you why the roof is messed up. See this massive tree here. The neighbor had the tree cut, which hung over the house profusely. So at the end of the day, he spent a lot of money, saved us a lot of money. But they did, it seems like they damaged the roof. Probably a couple tree limbs hit it. That's what caused this leak here. And that's why we had the new roof put on yesterday. Plus the the roof was shot anyway, so it was needed. So that's the, the living room. We always try to put a um, fan in the living room just to give them a little extra, extra, extra. This is bedroom one. Bedroom one. You see how glossy the floors? They look wet, huh? Look like somebody dropped something on there. No, no, no. High gloss. Three coats of poly. As you can see, this door, see, Section 8 will not let you have a door or the door hinges on the door if you're running it as a two-bedroom. So these, is, this frame has already been taken fully off because they will, do not want to see any type of way where you could just slap the door back up on there. So that's the bonus room here. It's the smallest room of them all, bonus room. But it is technically a bedroom because it does have a closet, as you can see. And this is the front bedroom. And um, this house, I think actually every room in this house has fans. Uh, this is one of our first rentals. So we put fans in every room back then. This is the bathroom. We had this renovated about three years ago. And um, still in good shape. Still got the original tub. Just had a refocus. So everything's pretty much in good shape there. And. That's pretty much a quick walkthrough. I walk back outside so you can see the roof real quick. Quick walkthrough, getting ready for inspection. So, and uh, three years ago, well, let me tell you a brief history of this house. We got this house. Um, it was listed, I think, for 11 grand. Picked it up for eight. Probably put about 20, 15, 20 in it. Did these floors, redid the kitchen, put all these new cabinetry in there, redid the bathroom, and just redid um, the floors. And uh, of course, we put the tankless in here, like I said. Um, put the, the one unit, very hard to find that, very European-ish, the one unit washer and dryer, and the tiny refrigerator. So let me walk outside so you can see the roof. It's the backyard. AC unit. How's the roof, the brand new roof. As you can see, there's no ridge vent because you have those three vents there. Sometimes I see on roof, people put the ridge vent with those vents, and it counteracts the air movement. So that is why there is no ridge vent there because you have the three vents on top. So new roof, we need to get this gutter replaced. Not looking good. And uh, that's pretty much it. Getting ready for inspection. Thelonious Jones, UDI Group. Please leave your comments and questions, and uh, we'll definitely get to them. Thank you.